Hello, and welcome to a Grab and Go presented by me, Christine, the team librarian at the Jones Creek branch of the East Baton Rouge Parish Library System. Today, our activity is paracord bracelet. Your materials are paracord and a snap clasp. That's it. This is a seven foot long piece of paracord that has had the ends singed closed so it won't ravel. You're going to take this and You want to push both ends of your paracord through this part of the buckle and then pull them down through their own ends. This will get you an end that looks like this where the loop is right here and the back looks like this. If you don't tangle your paracord, you won't get this little wibble wobble, but we are going to accept a little wibble wobble in our lives. You're going to take the other half of the buckle, push the paracord through the hole from bottom to top. This way, when you put the bracelet together, the buckle will curve with your wrist instead of against it. Tighten it until it's at a comfortable spot on your hand. See if you can put one or two fingers underneath it. That's what you should aim for. Because it's going to get tighter after you do all the other paracord stuff. When you've got that point, give it a firm fold and release the buckle. This is where we're going to start. On the buckle end without the fork, with your bit measured out to the length of your wrist with two fingers pressed underneath it. Now, this is how we're going to start. We have our bracelet and our extra long strand. Take the one, make a loop with it that goes over the two bracelet strands. So take the other side, put it over the strand, and then through the loop. Then pull it tight. Now we pull it tight with this side. So now we're going to make a loop with this side. You make a loop over the two, then you take the other side. It goes over the one, under, and through the loop. And then we tighten. Now we tightened with this side. So this is going to be the loop. Loop over the bracelet, other strand, over the one, under, and through the loop. Now we tighten. Now is a good time to check that the length of your bracelet didn't change while you were making the first two loops. So let's try that. Yeah, that's still okay. All right, now let's return to our bracelet. Oh man, which side did we do last? It was this side, because this is the one that can be tightened. So this is the loop over the bracelet. This is the one over that and under and through the loop. Tighten. Loop 
over bracelet, over one, under, through the loop, tighten, loop, over bracelet, over one, under, and through, tighten, loop, over, over, under, through, loop, over, over, under, through. And you can do this for the entire length of your bracelet. Now, it might be a bit loose at the beginning, like this. So you can jam it up there, because you've got a lot of length, depending on how big along your wrist is. And you'll probably need to do that. I'll join you once I've made it to the end. All right, here I am with my bracelet, and I've reached the end with so much left. But wait, if you grab this and squish it, you'll get a lot more room, and you can just keep on going for a little bit at least. I think that's about as far as I can go though. So I'm going to pull my bracelet up so it's nice and even and flexible. Then I'm going to go to the back of my bracelet and I'm going to take the ends and shove them basically underneath the cross bits here. So I'm going to grab one Get a bit of slack in it, grab this, shove it through. Now this would still be pretty uncomfortable against your hand, so you're going to grab another one a little further along, get some slack in it by pulling, and shove them through again. All right, one more, and I think I'll be good. All right, I've shoved them both underneath, but should I ever need an emergency seven feet of paracord, I can pull this out and undo the bracelet, and I'll have my paracord. But here we go. Let's put that on. Here we are! And now, whoop, still a bit of room so it doesn't cut off my circulation. Alright, thank you for attending this grab and go craft. If you make it, Please tag us on Instagram or Facebook with your results. Follow us on YouTube, Instagram, or Facebook for more grab-and-go opportunities. And goodbye!